I really love the gene openings of Better Call Saul. I think they add so much to the show, including giving us a reason to wonder what will happen in the end of this series. In other words, Better Call Saul being a prequel to Breaking Bad, we know what happens to Saul Goodman. He meets Walter White and then goes on that adventure. But what they did by adding Gene to this story, we don't know what the character of this story, what their uh, final fate is. But now these Gene openings actually have a lot of information in them concerning this season. I'm gonna really quickly go through the first three seasons so we could see how they do predict what's going to happen in the season. And then we're gonna talk about season four, what, what we can expect to see in this current season of Better Call Saul. In season one, we saw Gene get out of Cinnabon, go home, tired after a day's work, sit down in the chair. He ends up popping in his old commercials. He's fantasizing about being a successful lawyer. And then the entire first season is all about Jimmy trying to establish himself as a successful lawyer. In season two, we see Jimmy taking the garbage out from the Cinnabon and he gets stuck taking the garbage out and he's sitting between two doors. One door, he can leave through right away, but he would be breaking the rules. And then the other do door is not breaking rules, but he has to wait around. So then in season two, we see Jimmy wrestling with the idea of whether he wants to be breaking rules as a lawyer. In season three, we see Gene on his lunch break from Cinnabon. There's a petty criminal that the police are chasing and they ask Jimmy for his help. Jimmy points out that the guy's hiding in the photo booth, but then as they drag this criminal away, Jimmy jumps up and starts yelling to defend him, Get a lawyer, don't say anything. So we see Jimmy defending a criminal who he knows was guilty of his actions. When the criminal comes out of the photo booth, they tell him to open his jacket up and the DVDs or whatever he stole fall out of his jacket. So Jimmy knows the guy's guilty, but he still feels very driven to defend this man, to, to try to protect his rights. Then in season three, we see Jimmy continually defending known criminals. He's the one who defends himself when he's arrest arrested for what he did to Chuck. That brings us to season four. The main thing in this season four opener was that we saw Gene running in fear from his old identity, Saul Goodman. And this is what we can plan on seeing playing out in season four. But what we're going to see is Jimmy running from his identity, Jimmy McGill. We've already seen this start to happen. At the end of season three, Jimmy throws his Rolodex out and Kim says, why are you throwing this out? And he says, because my reputation for elder law is destroyed, so it's useless. Jimmy has already started to destroy his reputation and is already trying to get away from the name Jimmy McGill. But the thing that's gonna push Jimmy over the edge to change his name. It, it's not gonna be an external force. It's gonna be an internal motivation. Jimmy's not gonna change his name because he has to hide from clients, criminals, or the law. We know this because Jimmy doesn't leave the area. He just changes his name. There's two relationships that are going to push Jimmy over the edge. And we already saw one of them play out. It was Chuck. It was Chuck telling Jimmy, you never really mattered that much to me. He basically told Jimmy, your name is meaningless and useless. Why would Jimmy want to hold on to this name? Not only did Chuck say that to him, but there's no McGill's left. This name, Jimmy McGill, is pretty empty to Jimmy at this point. The other thing that's going to push him over is something else Chuck said to him, which is, Jimmy, just accept that you hurt the people around you. That's what we're gonna see Jimmy go through in season four. He's going to have to accept that he hurts the people around him and be okay with it. The person that's gonna bring this all about is Kim. What he's gonna do is he's gonna run away from Jimmy McGill. He's gonna run away from the pain and guilt he causes Kim. Feels strongly about Kim and he has emotions about Kim and that's why there's gonna to need to be a name change. It's why he can't just say, okay, Jimmy McGill hurts everybody around him. He doesn't, he's not gonna to wanna to keep that pain that he gives to Kim around. He's gonna to wanna to leave it behind. And the way that he's gonna leave the pain that he caused Kim behind and the guilt that he feels over it is with the name change. Jimmy's gonna become somebody who no longer cares that he hurts people. Saul. Goodman. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
don't be afraid to give it a like. If you know anybody else who watches Better Call Saul and would like to hear about the gene openings, go ahead and share the video with them. And if you'd like to be sure you are aware every time we upload a video, go ahead, subscribe, ding the bell, and you will be alerted every time we upload a video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.